James Kaufman, World News Report today, September 14th, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we've just had a very strong X-Class solar flare. This was in the X-Territory for over an hour. Incredible. We had an X-4.54 solar flare that was generated from sunspot AR-3825. And there very well could be an Earth-facing geomagnetic component associated with this large solar flare. Jumping over to spaceweatherlive.com, we're currently still at an M1.58 coming off that X4.54 solar flare. I would tell you that AR3825 generated two M flares prior to that. But, ladies and gentlemen, we've actually been in M class territory for quite some time, just associated with this X4.54 solar flare. Now, they have not named the region here, but that won't be a problem because it's easily visible on GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager. SolarWeatherLive.com has the X4.54 solar flare starting at 1513 UTC time, maxing out around 1530 UTC time, and ending around 1547 UTC time. Although we're still in M-Class territory, i.e. M1.58, coming down off of that flare. We only had a 10% chance of having an X-Class solar flare today, and this was a very large one based on that percentage. We also had a 55% chance of having an M-Class solar flare today. That ship has also sailed. We've had at least two of those. And we have been running a very high C, even sometimes an M baseline. So we can all know that the C flare did happen and will continue to happen. I.e. we've been in a C flare baseline for at least the last several months. Over to HMI Intensogram, we see our culprit right here. It's going to be 3825. It's going to be the same sunspot group responsible for the eclipsed X class solar flare just a few days ago. Obviously, this is a much stronger event and not eclipsed by any part of the incoming limb. And again, there very well may be an Earth component to this large solar flare. Heading over to GO-16 Solar Ultraviolet Imager, we did have that coronal hole earth-facing. We should see those solar winds at some point today. And we're under a geomagnetic storm watch. I've never seen a flare shoot out a small portion of plasma like this one did. It almost looks like a spaceship is leaving the sun here. You can obviously see the eruption here at 3825. And then we see something shoot out and turn north. I've never seen anything that would compare to something like this. It's quite visible. And we'll watch it another time or two. Very, very strange. Nothing like we've seen before. Uh... This is not your normal coronal mass ejection, to say the very least. Now, this is the peak of the X-Class solar flare. And I will say that it's nowhere as strong as I thought it would be. You're looking at our D-Region Absorption Prediction Center. And these are the X-rays that hit planet Earth associated with that X 4.54 solar flare. NASA rated this as an R3 radio blackout, and I'm just not feeling it. I don't see the radio alternation as high 
as it usually is and the actual peak of that x 4.5 solar flare really does not look impressive it mostly landed over the atlantic over the caribbean and over the northern part of south america all right back to NOAA r3 strong high frequency radio blackout event on september 14 2024 an x-class flare occurred and reached an x 4.54 the strong flare peaked at 1529 utc time we know most of this a solar flare is an eruption of energy flares of this magnitude in and around solar maximum are generally not common although not necessarily unusual solar flares of this magnitude can be impulsive meaning quick to rise and decrease, lasting some minutes or lasting a few hours. Effects immediate, wider area of strong degradation or signal loss in high frequency communication bands over much of the sunlit side of Earth, which we did not see happen with our X-ray absorption model. Users of high-frequency radio signals may experience loss of contact or major disruptions for a number of minutes to a couple of hours in the affected areas. And we did see that that was most of the Atlantic, some of the Caribbean, and the northern part of South America. And this was published at 1627, so about an hour and a half ago. We will uh, continue over to STO HMI magnetogram. My first question is, is why weren't the other sunspots that came around the limb named yet? Very, very strange. We saw those coming around the limb yesterday. This is 3825. What do you notice about it? It's a reverse polarity sunspot, meaning there's positive umbrios over negative umbrios in the southern hemisphere supposed to be very rare but it looks like as you get closer to your solar maximum they must become much more frequent as we're seeing just about every complex sunspot coming around the limb looking like a reverse polarity sunspot over to soho 284 angstroms we have a very weird weird well blackout of some sort over here it doesn't really affect the picture you can see these other sunspots coming around the limb i thought that they would have already come around and been named we have several sunspots also departing on the far limb but this seems to be the problem the source of two x flares in about three days time over two nasa's is what goodard spiral they have not modeled this flare whatsoever. Looks like nothing's been modeled. They have a small flare headed towards headed towards Mars on this. You can see it right there. It was probably from yesterday. And that's on the departing limb there. It does not look like it's very strong and won't be geoeffective. As this thing is modeled a little bit later, I will bring you some information, at least for tonight's update. But this was a huge flare. Remember, we're also under a geomagnetic storm watch all day long. Now, we did have an R3 radio blackout, but it sure didn't look very strong to me. We're again still in M territory, and this is going to be hours approximately four or five hours in M territory. And to me, it looks like at least an hour in X flare territory, although they say it was closer to 30 minutes. A very large Earth-facing solar flare. Again, out of our troubled, complex, reverse polarity sunspot, AR3825. Keep your tinfoil hats on, folks. God bless. Please share and subscribe. Always remember that anything's possible. Bizarro 